but let's talk about my recovery. I did have a repeat C-section. This one was scheduled, so we basically walked in, signed the last forms of our paperwork, and went into it. And I'll talk about that in a whole separate video, but I'm gonna talk about recovery in this video. I'm one week postpartum, one week since my surgery, and it's been rough. I've not been the greatest about keeping on a schedule on my meds like I was in the hospital because literally somebody brings you the meds on the hour, every hour that you need meds, and and they just hand it to you and you take it and it's no big deal. And at home I have to keep track. So I do have another like note in my to-do list thing for my pill times because they want me to take the Tylenol and Ibuprofen around the clock as soon as you can take it every time to keep the inflammation and swelling down. It also helps with pain management as well. And then if it's really bad, I do have bigger drugs that they gave me. The first like day and a half I was home, I wasn't sticking to the exact times and I was feeling it big time. So I'm back on keeping on track of the Ibuprofen and the Tylenol on the times making sure I'm taking them on time so that I don't get more pain. But overall, by the end of the day, I'm super duper sore down there. I'm really taking it easy. I think one day I really overdid it because it was so painful. I couldn't hardly move. There was just so much pain in the incision area. And there's one particular spot, just, I don't know, like a, a strip of the incision on this right side and it's like right over my leg. So I feel like every time I walk, I'm moving that section and it's been like really painful, really burny. It's not infected at all. We've looked, you know, and made sure it's looking good. I did talk to a couple of my friends who've had previous C-sections and they said they had the same kind of thing, like certain sections of their incision was more painful and somebody recommended putting my belly band tighter. And so I do have it on much tighter and it has helped significantly. And I really can't do a whole lot. I can't do any kind of bending that you're not supposed to do any lifting besides the weight of your baby you're not supposed to do a whole lot of walking a whole lot of stairs and so i'm really taking it easy i go up the stairs like twice a day at the most today i've already gone up three times though because of all this filming stuff but basically by the end of the day i'm just really sore part of it is also they push on your stomach to make sure that everything's getting back to normal and that part's incredibly painful. I have bruises on my stomach from that. I'll get into more details in the other video. So my stomach itself is sore also from the pushing part. And now I'm to the point I've not had to take the Tylenol and Ibuprofen exactly on time the last day or so. I'm you know gone 30 minutes extra or an hour extra here and there and it's not made much of a difference so i'm slowly getting off of that. I do have the hardcore drugs and I took them pretty regularly the first a um, couple days home from the hospital, but I haven't really needed them the last couple days. It just seems like at night, I'll start feeling more pain. I will take one around, I don't know, an hour before going to bed because I'm in a lot of pain in the evening. When I get to that point, I have been taking the heavier duty medicine. I have it in my notes. Having grandma here has been great. She has been just helping with everything. Johnny has really stepped up, helped with everything because I can't do a whole lot. I even just walking, like I'll go walk and fill up my drink and by the time I get back to the couch, I'm feeling a little bit of soreness just from the walking because everything's not healed up, you know? I had major surgery and the day I really was in a lot of pain in the evening, I was like, gosh, this is ridiculous. And I'm thinking like, wow, I'm only like four days out from a major, major abdominal surgery. So I need to cool it with the like getting upset about it because I was like, dang it, I should be better by now. I should be able to walk better and you know, they cut me open and it's kind of a big deal. So I have to just keep that in mind, like when I'm getting stressed out about it because I don't feel so tired. I don't feel drugged at all because I'm barely taking the hardcore drugs and I just want to do stuff. I want to be able to play with my other kid and I'm stuck on the couch because I have this big incision. So that part's been hard. Like mentally I'm recovered and physically I'm not. So I just have to wait a little bit longer and I'm getting kind of bored on the couch. <laughs> like There's only so much time I can read. There's only so much time I can surf the internet. It's gonna actually be good to have this video filmed so that I can actually edit something because there's only a couple videos I have that I can edit and I just haven't been in the mood to edit them. <laughs> so that'll be nice. I'll have this like hour long thing of footage to edit for you guys. But yeah, when we get tired, we just take a nap. There's three of us, so it's not that big a deal. So we kind of rotate taking turns with naps. I get breaks like 
right now she's down there and she has these like, you know, about two hour windows where I get a break from her and I can sleep. Sometimes I just nap on the couch as needed, just doze here and there as needed. So I don't feel like I'm suffering sleep wise. And I feel like Livy nursed like every 45 minutes to an hour and I might be just exaggerating, but that's how it felt like with her. And this time I've had these breaks in between, which has been really nice to kind of like take care of myself a little bit. Going back to her cluster feeding night at night five, I got so thirsty and so hungry that night. Like that's when my appetite really started raging. So I've been super starving ever since then. The milk has come in since then as well. So like I got super chapped lips that night because she was just drinking so much and I wasn't drinking enough to like recover from it. So my lips were super chapped and I have like a I cut down my lips where they just kind of split a little bit and so I've been really really trying to drink enough and eat enough because I've been starving and thirsty um, just non-stop the last few days and as far as the cholestasis I'm not itching all the literature says the cholestasis goes away and it I think it has at this point so I'm not super concerned that there's no complications for a baby and I'm not itchy like I was crazy itchy up until giving birth and then it started like tapering off and be less itchy and now I don't even itch which is just kind of crazy <laughs> the whole thing is crazy I did get my placenta encapsulated I have a video on this for my last time doing this I did this with Olivia I'm doing it again this time and they did deliver them they brought them to our house the day I got out of the hospital so that was day three or four I don't know but I do have them, I have been taking them a little bit, and I will do another video after that experience again. Also, in the hospital, I did not know about this until somebody called me on the hospital phone, and I was like, hello, and it was the photographer. They do fresh 48 photos in the hospital, and I had no idea about this. I probably got literature about this at some point and totally forgot, but somebody came and took newborn photos of her, and they got them back, and they are so, so, so cute. So I'll try to insert a couple of those here. And we do have a photographer coming to the house this week, later in the week, and I'm so excited. It's gonna be family newborn photography, like we did with Livy. We have photos of the three of us together, and now it'll be the four of us together. I want some sibling photos as well, and then just photos of Stella by herself. So I'm really, really excited about that. Grandma's going home next week. Johnny still has a couple more weeks. I think it's probably gonna take four weeks off. We've got eight weeks of paternity leave, but we didn't use it all with Olivia. After the fourth week, I felt like I had a handle on things. I had recovered pretty well, and we were kind of itching to get back into like a normal routine, normal life. So he took the four weeks and it was great. I think we'll probably do four weeks this time as well. So he's got three more weeks as of me filming this and we'll see, we'll take it from there. And if we feel like we need more time, he'll take more time, but he can take up to eight weeks, which is really awesome. We're just super thankful about that perk that he gets as part of his job compensation. Just really, really important. And I wish more companies did that. That's pretty much it. I've been using this to keep track of things throughout this week. I'll try to do these weekly updates for the first couple weeks and then go from there. And I've been keeping track of video ideas. I mentioned already, we're gonna do a birth story. I'm gonna do a breastfeeding video, talking about tips and tricks. If you guys have questions or video suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll add things to my list as things stand out to me. So I'll try to get on top of videos more the more I recover. Right now, it's a lot of sitting on the couch and hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll start feeling a lot better and now one thing I felt really like mentally productive but not physically like I said I can't do much but I have used the Project Life app to already start scrapbooking Stella's stuff so I already have her one week layout done I still need to do like a birth layout or a layout for the hospital visit I'm really wanting to get back into scrapbooking I printed some pictures I think it's a PM 400 it's an Epson picture mate I can print straight from my phone. So I'll be sitting downstairs on the couch, pick out the pictures, get them exactly right, and print them upstairs, which I'm upstairs right now. So like the room over there. So it's really, really nice to be able to do that. When I am physically able to come scrapbook, I can go grab the pictures, they're already printed, and I know which ones to work on. So I'm really, really excited to get back into it as soon as I recover, and I thought that was gonna happen. My whole pregnancy, I just felt so fatigued the whole time. I just had an extremely low energy, and I think probably had to do with some low-level cholestasis, but this, I don't know, the last few days, I felt 
more myself and I felt more energetic. I'm waiting for uh, my recovery to catch up and so I can actually get things done. It's really nice. I can do some stuff for my phone and get back into scrapping a little bit. The last thing I have to do is show you guys uh, my postpartum body here. I am right now Hot Mess Express. I've got one of those old maternity tank tops on. These are from my pregnancy with Olivia and they're like really super baggy because I used to pull them down and I'm doing the same thing now so they kind of go everywhere. I'm wearing the nursing bras that I got off Amazon. Super comfortable. I love them. I do have them on almost all the way loose so the straps aren't tight at all. So it's just easy to like unclip them with the little clip thing. I do love the nursing tank tops, but they're all in the wash or some version of in the wash. We've got like half a load of clothes that need to be washed. We'll wash them later today. They're just in the washing machine right now. We have a load in the dryer and we have a load folded on top of the dryer. So my nursing tanks are somewhere in that mix. Also, I'm gonna do a washing machine review because the little tiny washer, we have the pedestal washer. It's the best thing ever, especially with baby stuff, just having a little stuff to wash here and there. It has been awesome. So I will definitely talk about that in some video. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I know I mentioned it in a vlog, but now it's really come in handy with baby stuff. The nursing tanks and the nursing bras are great. I'm going to have to get more of them because I love them and I'm going to be living in them nonstop. So when I gave birth, I was at 202 pounds. And as of me weighing myself this morning, I'm at 191. So that is a loss of 11 pounds, like seven and a half pounds was baby. So it's not a great loss. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys. All right, so here is what it looks like. One week postpartum, I definitely still have lots of bulge and pooch. And this is the belly band. It's got stuff all over it. I need to put it in the wash, but I use it so much that I'm afraid to not have it because it helps so much. So I have it on really, really tight and, um, what they told me in the hospital was put it over your incision. Like you want it, and my incision's like pretty low, like way down here. So I probably should have it a little bit lower, but when I sit, it kind of rides up a little bit. But that's what it looks like one week out. I'll go ahead and take this off as well. You can see, um, it just, all of this feels really tender and numb, and part of it I don't feel at all because of the incision. So it's definitely numb and tingly, and they told me to put this on you know, over the incision. What I've been doing, if you're seeing this and you're pregnant, I've been putting it over and like pulling upward to kind of hold up that part of my belly. And it really helps to keep everything in. It feels really nice to have that on. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be back onto some regular schedule coming up soon. I've got lots of video ideas. I'm really excited to start filming again. I just gotta recover a little bit more before I can get on any sort of schedule again. But I have, I think, one video popping up for you guys next week. I'll try to get her week two video filmed for next week as well. And that's it. So I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys are doing great and I'll catch you next time. Bye.